Coach, what do we have to do to win this ball game tonight? Well, I think first of all, from a defensive standpoint, we want to uh, try to eliminate any big play potential they have. They they have a few players that, that run really good and, and uh, are capable of making big plays. Uh, their tailback is a really fine player. Quarterback throws the ball well. They will throw the ball deep some at times. So uh, we want to eliminate big plays. If we, we feel like if we make people continue to snap the ball, then something good is going to go our way. So if uh, we can do that, then we're going to be way ahead of the, uh, the defensive game plan. And then, uh, you know, takeaways. We want to create some turnovers. The way we play, we like to fly around. Uh, with some of the blitz packages we do and, and create a little bit of confusion and then either get an interception, pick up a fumble, and get our offense a short field. So those are the, the defensive goals. On the offensive side, we uh, we want to be able to take what they're going to give us. They, they, they blitz from every direction on defense. They're going to send guys every play. They love to feed off of their uh, momentum that they can generate from big plays from their defensive side of the ball. So. And we want to be able to get into some situations where we hit somebody either on a run or a pass that can get out in the open field and make, make something big happen for us. The Tigers are not the same team that they were last year. They have a new coach, and they've got a lot more fire this year. And coach Howe's doing a great job with them. He's got them believing in what he's selling. You can tell by the way they play on film. Uh, they're 3-1, and one, yeah. and uh, you know they have uh, some people that, that – are athletic enough to really give you some trouble. Their secondary is extremely good. Uh, they do so much movement up front, it really concerns you. And uh, more than anything, they're, they're buying into his program. And, uh, you know, anytime you have somebody new in the beginning, it's, you're going to have that excitement, and he's been able to build on that. So I'm sure they're going to come over here with a lot more confidence than they've had against us the last couple times. So uh, we expect a great ball game, and uh, we respect the job they're doing. But again, we feel like if, if we take care of the things that, that we do well, then uh, we're going to have a great, chance, a great chance to win. I noticed, Coach, that you do like a lot of successful coaches in 4A play, and that is you kind of moved up one to 5A, and you got a loss there, but it sure told you just how good the team was and what you had to do, and you came back the next week, and wow. Well, we felt like after playing East Central, the, you know, that – uh, some of the teams we're going to play, the, the game may slow down a little bit for us. So uh, they played at such a fast pace, very athletic. And, you know, I do believe if, if your program's to that point where you can handle that, uh, you know, win or lose, you know, much prefer to win. And we went over there expecting to win. But uh, still yet, no, I think it's better than just finding somebody that you feel like you can beat up on. So uh, it was definitely a good test for us and, and a good evaluation point uh, going into district play. And it, you know, whereas if we'd have gone and, and blown out a poor team, we probably wouldn't have concentrated on some of the things we needed to fix. Instead, we fixed some things, and I think that showed uh, by last week's performance. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Championship Football on Okie Country 101.7 KTFX.